The Richmond County Coroner's Office says a man is dead from a shooting late last night. The coroner learned it happened on Hicks Street. That's off of Crawford Avenue and not far from the Calhoun Expressway at Green Street. He says 18 year old Terrence Pinder was shot at least once and was pronounced dead at Wellstar MCG around 1130 when they got called to the hospital. An autopsy has been scheduled. The coroner's office says two others were shot and taken to the same hospital, but there's no word yet on their conditions. We're reaching out to the sheriff's office for more information. Washington County deputies are looking for this missing 16 year old. According to the Sheriff's Office Facebook page, Telashe Lee was last seen on Sun Hill Road around 10 last night. They also say she's autistic, so if you know where she may be or see her, be sure to call the number there on your screen. Officials with Augusta Regional say today's the busiest day they see all year. People in town for the tournament are departing while others are coming back from spring break. If you're flying out, they encourage you to get there about three hours before your flight. They say it's a good idea to check the TSA guidelines to make sure everything is good to go on the plane. If you're traveling with things like golf clubs, the TSA recommends allowing a little extra time to go through that screening process. The biggest advice they have is give yourself plenty of time. Time is running out for you to file your taxes. You have until today to submit your return, and the IRS says most people who qualify for a refund will see them within 21 days. If you need to file an extension, you can go to the irs.gov website and fill out the appropriate form. A masterful performance at Augusta National from Scotty Scheffler. Over the weekend, Scotty once again proved to everyone why he's the number one ranked golfer in the world. Scotty came into Sunday with a one stroke lead atop the leaderboard at seven under. At one point during the final round, four players were tied for the lead, but everything changed when Scotty made back to back birdies three times. The closer he got to the 18th green, the louder and louder patrons became, setting the stage for what's to come. Scotty Scheffler's seven birdie, four under 68 helped him secure his victory and win the 88th Masters. So congrats to him. Big deal. And we can't forget about the Lady Gamecocks here. The city of Columbia honored the women's basketball team yesterday for winning their third national championship. They spent most of last week planning out how the parade and pep rally would go. Crowds lined up on Main and Laurel Streets to cheer them on. And then everyone met at the steps of the State House to hear from Don Staley and other guest speakers. Tomorrow, the Richmond County School System will host a job fair. They're looking to fill up available spots for the next school year.